Welcome back to Pillar Tool Company. Today is a very special episode because we're doing, uh, we're pulling off the old switcheroo of 2018. What do I mean by that? Uh, today is Tuesday after Labor Day and Saturday is Mrs. Pale Dog's birthday. So what she thinks I'm doing this week is building a couple frames out of white oak for some art that I have, uh, which I am gonna do, just not this week. What we're actually doing is uh, we're making her a little birthday present. One of the things that she's been asking about, oddly enough, that she doesn't have and she wishes she had was a letter opener, which is great because I don't have any experience making knives. Um, and a letter opener is a great one because there's no edge really that it has to maintain. So that means I don't have to know anything about hardening or carbon content or any of that. So we're gonna take a, a chunk of this bar of one inch by quarter inch uh, plain steel and uh, some of these little pieces of walnut and uh, we're gonna see what we can do. How hard can it be? feeling just just a tiny bit uh, discouraged right now started raining so I moved everything in and uh, while I was using my little polishing pad here the angle grinder she caught just for a second it's kind of like a catch on a lathe just grabbed it and went actually it looks exactly like a catch on a lathe would look I'm gonna see if I can salvage this I'm gonna be really sad if I can't cuz this has been a lot of grinding I think that might have to be good enough. So I'm going to round out the back side of this, but once I do that, I think I'm done with power tools. Push 
Okay, we are back inside, back at the bench, and back at my state-mandated safe place. I don't much care for the metal work, so it's nice to be back home. Uh, this turned out okay. I was able to get the point back, mostly, uh, and everything looks all right. And uh, unless you really knew what happened, you wouldn't know what happened. So we'll just keep that uh, between me and you. Don't tell the missus. Got everything polished up on the outsides. It looks okay. You can still see some scratches. You can tell that I'm not really a metal worker. But I've had a bunch of these laying around for about a year or so. Some of them brought a 16th, but a couple of these are pretty thick. And I think I'm actually gonna use this piece of walnut to put some uh, really thin little scales on the outside of this guy. So these are the two pieces that we're gonna use for the uh, scales. Typically what you would do is uh, glue the scales on like this and shape it in, but uh, I'm actually gonna leave a little bit of a, uh, a ridge or a gap. The metal part is gonna be sticking out of these a little bit, so I actually have to do it the opposite way, which is uh, a, probably more difficult. I'm gonna shape these first and then attach them. So much for dry fit. I'll tell you what, I've never been so prepared for a glue up and that was an absolute disaster. <sighs> so was this. Thank <laughs> you. 